first of all, I'm happy 4th of July to everybody at the time of this going out. And because I I want to at least keep putting something out, I had to watch I had to watch another episode today and I did some more stuff for a review that's coming later this week. But oh my gosh. Okay, so uh, Hopper and Joyce are going around looking trying to find out what's going on. They find out Eleven's mom was an MK Ultra when she was pregnant, took a bunch of LSD and stuff, got put in the same uh, isol the, as I was told, the sensory deprivation tank in one of the comments from last video. And it was a way to expand her mind and stuff. And they think okay, they think that uh, Eleven was, you know, miscarried in the third trimester when really she wasn't. She's still alive and they know she's telekinetic and sister thinks she's crazy because of all the drugs, naturally. Uh, okay, Nancy did not end up getting trapped in the Upside Down, which is thankful as hell. Her and Jonathan stayed out with each other. They you know, try and keep each other calm and comforted. She can't sleep because she saw too much and she's freaked out from it. They decide, like, they try to figure out what it is and she's like, you know, it hunts at night by itself, like a, like a bear, it smells blood. So they're gonna try and figure out a trap for it. Steve was gonna try and sneak into Nancy's room and find out what she was doing. She sees Jonathan. Now she spray paints Nancy the Slut Wheeler on a movie theater sign. There's a big kerfuffle about it. Jonathan absolutely owns Steve. Screw you, Steve. You suck. Got your butt handed to you by a photographer. What up? Accidentally hits a police officer and is gonna be charged with assault more than likely. Lucas tries to find the gate on his own, whilst Mike and Dustin try and find Elle. End up getting cornered by uh, the two bullies, the one like the one that wet his pants. They're like, you know, the one who wet his pants just like, if you don't, you know, takes Dustin hostage at one point. If you don't jump into that quarry over there, then I'm gonna take out his baby teeth. Because he's got like some kind of thing that makes his baby teeth want to stay in longer or something like that. Mike jumps because he doesn't want to see his friend hurt. Eleven saves him, like telekinesis his, himself up. Breaks one of the kid's arms, tells him to go. We find out that Eleven is actually the reason why the rift opened in the first place because she could sense the Demogorgon and she like goes up to it and touches it, and the Demogorgon's just like, Rah! Then, it's just a matter of the Demogorgon apparently somehow shattering reality a little bit, and she's like, I open the gate, and all that. And it's like, no, you're not a monster, you're fine. And now, uh, you know, the, the Hopkins labs are onto them, and I think they're gonna try and get, they're gonna try and assassinate them or something like that, or like, it's, it's a whole thing. Anyway, um, I'm just going to edit this real quick so I can go to my cousin's house and have fun with 4th of July. I hope you all had a good Independence Day, and I did it. That's episode 6. It's nuts. I'm freaked out. I want to see more. I'm Danny Movement. Have a good day.